So we all know that we can subtract two integers in C. That's simple enough. But did you know that you can also do the same with characters? Yeah. Let's find out how and why is that useful. First of all, let's declare here a character and say it's equal to the character D, for example. And let's print that character to the console. So we're going to say percent %C for printing a character and then a, a new line so that it's simple to read. And then we do C. Now if I run this, we're just going to print out the character D onto the console. Now, um, let's see if I can change this value. What if I simply subtract the value 3 from this character? What What's the character D minus 3? What does it mean actually? Well, let's find out. Aha, uh -huh, so it's A. What happened here? So wh what's, what's, what's going on here? How we can go from D to A by subtracting 3? Well, the answer is the ASCII table. Let's Let's take a look at the ASCII table. Here I have the ASCII table. And we can go ahead and find the character D that I just typed in. So it's right around here, right? So here D has the value 100. Okay. What does that mean? That means that inside this character, inside this C, we didn't actually retain the character D. We actually retained the value 100. Which means that since we had a hundred and at the next line we subtracted three, that means what we're left with is 97. And 97 is, well, you guessed it, the character A. So that's how we get the value A. But how is that useful actually? Well, you can do some, some nifty tricks with this. For example, if you have, for example, the character 7 and you would like to um, convert this to a number it would be really simple to just do int a equals c minus the character 0 and once they print out let's print out here print percent d backslash n there we go and we're gonna say a and you will notice that we get the actual value 7 inside a right here because this is an integer and it was treated as such, right? Why is that? Because, well, again, the ASCII table. As you can see here, we have the character 7, 55, right? And then we have the character 0 and 55 minus 48 is, well, 7. And that's how we got the value 7 onto... Um, our variable a. So I hope you got something out of this and you understand that inside the char data type we only store integers at their core and we're working with the ASCII table to convert these notations to these notations, right? So we get we go from the character 7 to the value 55 and that's how you can actually um, use subtractions and additions on uh, character types. Thanks for watching.